This is Dylan Gerard here with a little bit of a demonstration of a recent software engineering project that I completed as part of General Assembly's uh, remote software engineering immersive. We've been online for the last six weeks and we have another six weeks as part of this program. And today I'm going to be showing off this very cool app that I made using NASA's Astronomy Picture of the Day API as well as React, which is a modern web development technology that was created by Facebook in 2013. Now what's so cool about React is that it um, allows for um, the use of different views on the same website. So here we have one website that we switch between these different views. And the way we're doing that is through something called components. And Components actually allow us to manipulate certain parts of the web page and update it um, accordingly, depending on our navigation. Um, another cool thing about React is that it uses state, um, which is basically keeping track of data that maybe the user uh, would input or navigation inputs. Um, so in, in this case, my state has to do with data from the API as well as the date of that data. So we're keeping track of those two things. And I'm keeping track of the date using something called Moment, which is a very uh, cool extension to React, which allows a lot of flexibility for time manipulation. So of course we have five components here. I won't talk too much about them, but we have a search page, an about page, the header, which you see here, and you will always see the header, no matter where you are on the page, and a daily image um, component. Now the daily image is probably the most important part because it allows us to see what the image and information was for each day that NASA has updated this API. Um, you can see if we go to the end, to, today we're on the current date, and I can't go beyond that. So that's one important restriction we've made there. And if we go back, um, we can see that the title is always being displayed. We've got the credit for the author of the, of the, um, of the image. We've got the description and the date. And this changes depending on what we do. We're making a different fetch call to that API every time we change um, the day we're on. So if we go back a little bit further, we can see that not all of uh, the entries here are images. Sometimes they are videos. And so here we have a YouTube video that's embedded. And so we can see this working well, taking a little cosmic journey there slowly through space. Very cool. We can pause that. Cool, so now let's check out this search page. Search page is basically a form and we can enter a date ranging between June 20th, 1995 and the present day. So if we go to, let's say, um, you know, October uh, 10th, um, 1999, we'll see where this takes us. This basically takes us back to that home view, the daily image view, except the image has been updated with new data on a new date. And of course, this is Triton, Neptune's largest moon. Very cool. We can also navigate around that image very easily. If we want to just see what was going on in space <laughs> around that time. Very cool. Um, the search uh, has a few cool constraints, such as I can't enter a negative number. I'll get a, I'll get a warning. I also can't enter, um, you know, the 14th month of, you know, 20. 2022, <laughs> I'll get, that's a, not a valid date. It won't take me anywhere. Cool, so let's check out the About page, which uh, basically just has this another one of these nice retro NASA buttons and um, has a few links and talks a little bit about why I built this app. It's because I love space and science fiction. And uh, so let's take this link to the GitHub and we will show off a little bit of my planning here. Um, this is what the original concept of the uh, app should have looked like, or, and it ended up kind of looking a lot like this. The image and information, uh, the archive, part of it changed quite a bit just because I, there's so many images, it's better to have a form that searches. And um, this is basically the same, except my archive, uh, the form actually keeps track of state as well as the app component. This is the type of data that we get from the API. And we can see that represented like with explanation here. Um, you know, that's what you're seeing, this, this very data. And this is how we can constrain our API fetches.
Um, in terms of stretch goals, um, I think it would be very cool to have a um, night and day mode here. Um, and I also think it would be kind of cool to have a little bit more uh, flexibility with the search. It would just, so you could maybe search for different celestial bodies, different subjects about space that exist in this API. So yeah, this has been my uh, expose of this cool app that I made. Um, this is our second project and I really can't thank my teachers and com uh, comrades, <laughs> my um, cohort mates for their support during this entire program. So if you like this video, feel free to follow or subscribe to this channel or leave me a comment below. I'd be very happy to hear from you. So this is Dylan Gerard. Thanks again for being here and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.